Hey, how's it going there, YouTube? I got in the mail today. This is a, like an unboxing for the uh, Victron. I think I might have bought this too soon, but I only gave 155 bucks for it. Uh, some, of my, some of my friends are having issues with this Victron. Uh, <laughs> I bought it before I found out they were, but hey, hopefully I won't have the same issues, but I could. Uh, I don't have anything here to compare it with. Uh, this is a SOC, a state of charge uh, uh, meter for your battery bank for off grid. Is I mean that's what it says in a lot of the descriptions. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the unboxing. I've already opened it up in the house just to see what it was because it didn't say anything on the outside. So I opened it up. First thing I got, how I knew what it was, is I see the invoice in there for the Victron. All right, so let's hang you down here so you can see what's going on when I open this up. Go. All right. That is just the uh, invoice. All right. Got a lot of little peanuts in here. You can actually eat those, but yeah, I wouldn't suggest it. It's made out of cornstarch. All right. So let's see what we got here. Try all this box. For just a little bit of, a little bit of uh, thing. I'll keep these peanuts in there. All, right. All that box for one little thing here. Wow. Sheesh. Huh? Well, tons of packing peanuts for that little bitty thing. I mean. There you go, put it down here where you guys can see it. And it's just a little small box. I got all that box. What is that, that thing? That little box. Hey, at least it was packed good. You know, I can't really complain about that. Let's see, let's uh, pull this thing back up. We'll put those upstairs. You never know when you might need to use packing peanuts or something. I've got stuff I'll be selling here soon to get rid of. But here it is. This is the Victron. Alright. Shows you a quick guide on how to hook it up in the back. Supposedly you can have more than one battery bank hooked up to it. For sensing wise. But I'll be only having one battery bank hooked up to it. And it shows you here on the back. A little quick setup. I'm just going to have one battery bank. I won't have a second one. So, but supposedly you can, can monitor two battery banks with this. Supposedly, it looks like the ship that they're getting on there only does one. So, well, we'll just go ahead and open it up. See what kind of instructions are in here. Yeah, my friend's down in Australia, just in case. He's been testing this thing for quite a while. Him and Jeremy have been working on a program to get it all set up and working. But for some reason, it ain't being very accurate. Um, seems like there's something in the programming of the Victron that's not jiving like it's supposed to. And I guess I could always sent back get my money back if uh, I don't like it but I don't know I think I already uh, I believe I'm just a little too late right now on that wow uh, yeah. so this is the user manual right here we got a, a quick installation guide but look at this manual guys <laughs> they think we read? Well, I read, but sheesh. Manual handling manual. Oh, I see what it is. Got in English, French, probably some other freaking crazy languages. Okay, that's why it's so thick. It's got 30 different languages in there.
And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different, eight different languages. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, I guess I'll read through this thing over time to get her all set up. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Got some cabling with it. Need to keep this side. Got some Cat 5 battery sense cable there. That's to plug into your battery positive terminal. It's got some screws. That's for the right for this plate and everything. Yeah, it's for the plate, and you can. I've got stuff I can mount this in, so. Make a party uh, little setup with it. Find me a small box. I've got a small box up where I can use. Eh, virtually Cat 5 cable. Gosh. Well, connectors ain't that big on it. One, two, three. Uh, it's phone cable. <laughs> it's telephone cable. There's only six wires inside that. Get you over here. Little connector for it, so it ain't Cat 5. Uh, let's see if I can find my little. Uh... Well, I just gotta find out where they're hiding at. There you go. I think he is. Let's see what size those are. Two sizes, I think it is. Yep, it's phone cable. I got the little connector at the end of it. At least I can make them. Got tool for making this stuff if I need to. Okay, let's wrap that back up. Let's take a look at this shunt. That shunt's got some weight to it. Alright, here's the shunt. And this shunt's only set up for one battery bank I mean they show a picture for two but if you look here on it where there's supposed to be another connection where this thing is supposed to be another one there it's only got one so this is only going to measure the one battery bank but yeah load battery yeah it's a big freaking Fifty millivolt, five hundred amp shunt. It's got its own little mounting. It's well, like you know, it's got its own plastic mounting bracket. So I'll show you some Chinese ones that I've gotten. That's what I like about that shunt. It comes with its own base for it to mount on. And here's these Chinese ones, and you can see. I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's a it's got a nickel plating on it, or at least because it's copper. The whole thing's copper, and it's got nickel. The middle section's painted, and the rest is all nickel. But that's your Chinese version. Those are the bolts that they have at each end that goes through a set of holes. But there's no. It just you know flops in the breeze you know it don't mount to nothing there's nothing that it mounts to and that's all it is whereas the craftsmanship on this same length and width same length anyhow both got its own mounting bracket its own piece of plastic there for it to mount on I'm pretty sure under this piece of tape is screws that mount the brass pieces to it, but that's it. <clears throat> okay, that's the shunt, and here's the uh, Victron. All right, and it's got some stuff in the back. Oh, that's nifty. I just drill me a hole through whatever I want to install this in. 
And it's got a little goody bob there. And some screws. And there you drill your find your hole saw that size and I might even have one. Just a wee bit. Yeah, it might. I might be able to get me a whole cut with that. I've got other ones. Yeah, this sheet, maybe that. That's my bigger one there. Yeah, I might just have to go find me a hole saw for it so I can cut me a hole out that match that. Probably the easiest way is find a hole saw that fits on the inside of that nice and tight. And that actually might, it might do it. And then I like these little boxes, but I like to find a project box that this can fit in. That I can see, and then lid can open up. So if I need to work on it, but I can unscrew it if I need to. So I could use this box. That's a lot of box just for one little Victron little meter. I mean, you know, I guess I could set it on my wall here somewhere. Yeah, there's this little thing. Got it on a little knob. Got an O-ring, so I guess it could technically be a waterproof. Huh. I don't know how you're supposed to supply power to it. Well, there's that. That's pretty much the unboxing. There's a, a few things I'm going to have to look through on it. Get some more information on it. Read through the manual. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll give you a, a small other updates here. Let's get you off that tripod. I've got some stuff on order. Been trying to get some stuff cleaned up around here. I mean, I had a mess down here. You can tell I finally got some of that cleaned up. We've got some batteries there charging up. Got some new LED lights, which that's what I've installed there. I mean, I haven't got the other two over here yet. But you can see the difference between that one and that one over there. Those are the old fluorescents, and those are the LED lights. I've already got them all installed back yonder. It brightens it up. I'm going to get me another one and install it there. That'll come down. Other than that, still don't have any boxes for these yet. I know, Justin, you're going to yell at me. you got to clean up at war. <laughs> but uh, I've got me some two uh, breaker boxes coming in where these will fit in. Uh, I'm going to put me a uh, piece of plywood, just a little piece from here all the way across. Or I might just use uh, something where I can put some cable track in and then uh, do something where I can have this breaker just a little bit below here. Uh, I got ideas, lots of stuff I want to get done. Cause I'm going to put a wall right here all the way across. I think I'm going to bring the wall over, probably stop the wall about right here. This just be my doorway going into my place back here in the back and that'd be my office back there and then I could extend all my stuff out this way bring my battery bank out to the door and it'd be just as high as it is now until I get stuff moving on the other side but she's uh, still running got the anemometer up there this is room for another pip if I want to put another pip in other than that, this is what we got, folks. This is what we got hooked up so far. Alright. Follow at you YouTubers later. Alright, comment, like, subscribe.